All right, so the waves have picked up a lot since yesterday when we were surfing. I honestly wasn't even looking at the forecast, so I didn't know this was gonna happen. It's a kind of strange size right now. It's a little early, the sun just popped, so then we'll give it like another 10 minutes and see where the spot is. We're at hiding back door off the wall right now. It's not looking super good, but it's fun. Sound bars look really fun too down there. But uh, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. stick one. It's a good morning. It's still only like not even nine o'clock. There it is. I'm gonna grab some food, another coffee, and then maybe get back out there. Hopefully this wind doesn't turn on shore like it did yesterday. We'll see. The six session now. So I went to pal out for a session at Rockies just now. And on my walk out I got my foot stuck in a little hole and pulled it up. And I just completely sliced the top of my foot open. So I didn't even get to catch a wave. Just sliced my foot. And that's it. It's so funny how you get hurt on like the tiny days. It's literally, literally, it's literally like three feet out there right now. And I sliced my foot open. Can you turn the hose on? Oh, you see that gap now? Well, you guys, I ended up getting a few stitches from that cut, and now I'm sitting here with the waves firing. But the weather's actually changing a little bit. It's nice that it doesn't look super pretty outside anymore because I was just freaking out. Couldn't surf, sitting here. I wouldn't really call this an injury, more of an inconvenience, like a week out of the water when there's swell coming. But it's whatever. It'll give me a lot of time to reflect on how good I'm going to surf pipe this year. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. I was literally going out to Rockies, walking out over the reef like I do every time, fell in a little hole, got pushed out of it, and like my foot, it felt like it just like slapped the rocks. I was like, oh, and I lifted my foot, I'm like, I wonder if I can still surf, and it just started pouring blood. I was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't. And then I was like, coming back in, I could feel it like flapping in the water. And then when it got stitched up, they even put a little stitch on the inside, I guess. It was great. Very, very exciting, but now I'm just sitting here, drinking coffee, getting excited for absolutely no reason. To go look at the swells on my computer, see what's happening. And probably go check Pipeline and grab another coffee at the shack. Let's go! Exciting adventure today. Also, what's even funnier is Paisel dropped off a couple new surfboards for me. He's my neighbor. He just stopped by. And look at the pink flame one. It's sick. I'm so psyched on that thing. Dude, backwards flames all day. You go faster. That's what it is. About to check the waves. But also, I'm making another movie this year, or actually next year, January. We're trying to find a premiere date at Surfer Bar. And as of now, I was thinking the 25th of January, we're going to do a premiere at Surfer Bar for This Is Living the Movie 2. This could be exciting. If you guys would like us to tour the movie to somewhere you are, please comment where you would like us to take the movie. So this summer we could set up a tour for the movie. 
and maybe see you in your hometown. So give us a comment and what maybe you would like to see in the movie. Let us know. We will take it all into consideration. Thank you for the support. Now let's have check the waves forecast. So we can shoot some waves for the movie. It's swell right now. I can't surf. People are surfing pipe, but the weather's getting bad right now as we speak. But then there's this next swell that's going to hit on, looks like, Wednesday, Thursday. And I think, most likely, I'm 100% going to be able to surf by then. So the only thing that's a little iffy about this swell in a couple days is the wind. 26, 27 knots. Thursday, Friday, winds it picks up. So I don't know, we have to wait a couple more days to see what this well actually does, but as of now, to occupy my time with other things to do, like drinking water. <laughs> In light of some really good news, I've just been re-invited to the Eddie Cal Invitational, which is an event held at Waimea Bay. It's an amazing contest, but um, it's funny, I got in, it doesn't run every year. The conditions have to be like absolutely perfect why man for it to run. So, I mean, last year, last time it ran was in 2016, and I actually got in as an alternate. And it's funny how I got in because that same year they called it on like a month before, and everyone got there like from whatever country they're coming from, and um, I wouldn't have gotten in because everyone showed up, but then they had to call it off because it wasn't big enough, the conditions weren't right. But then it ran like a month later and one person couldn't make it. So I got in to that event. And I, I still have some highlights that are like some of my best Waimea waves I've had. And some of the best memories I've had out there for sure. Just like being in the heat with my brother, Kala, John John, and Bruce Irons, you know, it was like a absolute, dream come true so I don't know it's a super special event to me and I really hope it runs this year and I want to do really good you know better than the last time so 2016 I was I don't know it's too much math for me I was like 21 years old 22 I've come to a realization since I can't surf the past like three days and I have another like three or four days ahead of me that I don't do much else but surf and work out. I need to come up with some other things that I like to do. <laughs> I don't have any right now that don't involve like being active on my feet. Maybe I could get into like bird watching, <laughs> gardening, something. <laughs> I'll check the mail like four times a day. <laughs> Literally, that's all I do. Oh, check it out. Check out how stormy it is right now. Oh, you know what else I really enjoy? Making coffee. But then I have like way too much coffee. Which we're about to do right now. I'm gonna stop and get a coffee from the shack. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. It was just like bleeding everywhere. It was pretty deep. Yeah, they put a stitch on the inside, too. Uh, to be honest, I've lost track of how much coffee I've drank today, so... I'm just going for the how high I can get my anxiety at this point. And you know what? I can get it pretty high. I figured out. Let's go check pipe and make my anxiety even worse. I really hope it's bad. I know it's mean to say for everyone else that can surf, but... I don't want to see perfect waves. I want to get there and see like really, really bad waves. I shoot stuff? Yeah, we did. They are, did they leave already? Yeah. Just like as deep as I can be. Oh my god, just caught up to you. So that was I, yesterday? Yeah, nice. I made it like all the way to oh, the end you and then my it. board flipped over. I was just like, oh, oh that was such a good one. That was, yeah, that was yesterday. I couldn't surf yesterday. It was pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go put my contest jersey back on. Okay. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Hit me up later. Yeah, Thanks. I'll hit you up. Just as I suspected. Awful condition. So what happened was yesterday and this morning were decent out here. Yesterday was really good. This morning was okay, I think, from what I've seen on the live cam. But. 
The reason it turns like this sometimes is because the storms that bring waves come a little too close and they bring bad weather. But if they stay far enough away, they bring us like perfect conditions usually. There's a lot of factors that go into it, but that's kind of it. Like if the storms come too close, they'll bring the north winds and like choppy seas. It's lightning. It was lightning all last night, this morning. I don't know. Is this half of what we get is like this. Not half. I don't know. It depends on the season. I know it depends on the year, but we get a lot of conditions like this. You guys just see the perfect stuff. Or not, actually. We've shown a lot of bad stuff. It's cool now. I go look back at my old videos and I'm like, I've seen yourself a year ago or a year and a half ago and like seeing yourself now. It's really cool. Like the videos are great for like everyone to get psyched and people enjoy them and I enjoy making them and everything. But I think the coolest thing that I found is I can go look back on my life. I shot a video every single week for a year and a half and for how, however long this lasts. Like I'm gonna be able to look back on like my life. It's really cool. I never thought about it that way until I was like a week ago looking at some old videos trying to find some clips. I don't know, it was really interesting. Cause usually I'm like, we put out a video, I'm like watching myself like cringing, like, oh, the way I'm talking, it's like, what I'm saying is like, I don't know, watching yourself is kind of hard sometimes. But when you go back that far, it's like, I don't know, just cool to see your past you know in one year from now I think I will be right here doing the exact same thing I love this I love my life with what we do and travel the world and surf pipeline I live on North Shore I have an amazing life that wave was pretty sick Grom forever